Hey guys, I hope that you're having a blessed, wonderful, and beautiful day. Um, today is the 16th of July, 2022, and I need to release some dreams that I've had. On July 7th, 2022, I had a dream that I was at this, it was like a school. Actually, it was a school, and I was teaching the class. And there was a couple in there named Luke and Kristen, and they were married. And I remember I was showing them and telling them that they had to wash their clothes. I kept telling people in the class, you've got to wash your clothes. You have to wash your clothes. And this is how you do laundry. And I was showing them how to do that. And the, uh, the washing machine was like a couple of rooms over. And... I was taking um, their clothes, I was showing them how to do it, and putting it in this washing machine, and um, the washing machine was cleaning the clothes, and then once the clothes, you know, were finished, and they were dried and everything, I had brought them in there, and I was showing them, like, how clean and how nice they were. Um, the name Luke means light giving, and the name Kristen, of course, is a Christian, so I knew that in this dream, I was... It was a message for Christians that you need to wash your clothes and you need to be ready because Jesus is coming. Um, I was showing them, like I said, I was showing them how to do the laundry, what needs to be done, and how they need to wash their clothes. The second part of the dream, I'm being chased by alligators and um, I'm going to a feast. I'm, I'm actually going to a dinner feast. And um, I'm trying to get to this house. So I get on, on this boat and I'm in the water. And there's two alligators that are chasing after me. But I make it to the house and I open the door or I knock on the door. And the woman's name is Lane. And she welcomes me in to the, the dinner feast. So I knew that that was telling me that there are people that are mocking and scoffing. People with big mouths that are trying to stop people from speaking the truth, but it's not going to work. And I reached the house. I reached the desk, you know, the place that I was supposed to be. And the person's name was Lane. So that means path. That means stay the path. So that means, you know, staying the path as far as telling the truth about Jesus coming, judgment being here, judgment coming. Um, you know, the, the wrath is coming. That's going to be poured out during the seven year tribulation if you don't know Jesus because he is coming you guys and this was saying that Christians you need to be washing your clothes you need to be getting ready you need to be ready when Jesus comes and um, how do we wash our clothes guys that's repentance that's by repenting and turning away from from evilness and things that we've done getting rid of sin that's what um, my dream was about last night. It was about two different groups of people. And um, one was like gathered in a house and, you know, like truth was being spoken. Well, the other, I was, it was actually leaders of a church and they were dangling upside down. So I knew that that was indicating that they still are not speaking the truth. It's false doctrine. It's false teaching. Um, they're still upside down about a lot of things. They're not talking about Jesus coming back. They're not preparing their flocks for, for Jesus' return. They're still doing the same old thing, the itching ears thing, um, you know, and, and not speaking the truth. And I was shown getting rid of sin. And um, at the end, uh, there was like a kind of like an obstacle course that everybody had to go through. And once they finished that, there was winners, you know, and you received some kind of quilt and it was like a quilt of your life. So I knew that that was saying, you know, finishing the race and that was the completion because Philippians 1, 6 says, you know, he's going to finish everything that he starts in us. And also, you know, we are running a race, you guys. And at the finish line, we know our reward is being with Jesus. So I knew that that dream last night was showing me that there's two separate groups going on right now. There's still the people that are in the world that are still sleeping. You know, there's still churches that are still sleeping and not awake and not ready. 
and not preparing um, their flocks for what is coming. And there is also the group that is, you know, is on this race and they're going through the obstacles. They're doing everything that they're supposed to do right now, trying to get ready to receive the reward. But the number one thing that was shown in my dream was getting rid of sin because there were several people going to the bathroom. And we know that that indicates getting rid of toxins, getting rid of waste. So I knew that that was getting rid of sin in your life. So if you have any sin in your life that you need to repent of, now is the time. You know, repentance is that change of mind. It's that change of heart, that change of direction. When we repent of our sins, we we no longer, you know, we say, hey, you know, Lord, we don't want to do this anymore. We don't want to be this person anymore. Help us, you know, forgive us, Lord. I repent for doing this. I repent for doing that, Lord. Wash me clean. Make me new. You know, it's only through Jesus' blood that we receive salvation, you guys. He's the way, the truth, and the life. And it's only by his blood that he shed on the cross. You guys, he was born of a virgin. He died on the cross. He was buried in that tomb. He rose three days later. And now he sits at the right hand of the Father in in perfect union with the Father. The Father and him are one. And he intercedes for us. And he is coming back, you guys. And, you know... I've had several other dreams as of late. Um, the night before last, I had a dream about a huge storm coming. A It was a new storm coming and the wind was starting to pick up. Um, things were starting to come about. And I knew that the Lord was telling me that another storm is coming. So that we need to be prepared for that. But number one, we need to be prepared in our hearts, you guys. If you do not know Jesus, today is the day of salvation. I praise and rejoice with you. Um, if you decide today that, you know, that Jesus, to make Jesus your Lord, repent of your sins. You know, Romans 10, 9 through 13 says, if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, you will be saved. John three sixteen. for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Acts 4 and 12 says, call on the name of the Lord and you will be saved. We have to call on the name of the Lord, you guys. We have to repent of our sins. We have to walk in obedience. We have to pick up our cross and follow Jesus. You know, the thing about it is in Galatians 5, 16 through, let's say 23, where the fruits of the Spirit are. And it talks about in the beginning, in 16, how we can't walk by our sinful nature. Paul is talking about He's talking about believers, you guys. He is talking about believers that will not inherit the kingdom of God because they're still bound in sexual immorality. They're still bound in drunkenness and dissensions and rage and malice and all these things. He's talking about believers. So you have to understand that repentance is key. You need to wash your clothes, be fresh and clean and ready and prepared because Jesus is coming. I know that we've been saying this and sounding this alarm for a while, but I am telling you, prophecy is being, is unfolding so, so fast now. We can't even keep up with it all. And I'm telling you, with all that I have in me, I know that Jesus is coming. And what a glorious day that will be when Jesus, we will see, you know, face to face. What a glorious and amazing day that will be. And I'm, I'm so, so excited to be able to see Jesus. But we have to also think, you know, that there's so many people that are not prepared that still aren't, aren't hearing. They can't hear and they can't see the signs of the times that we're in. So this is a warning and an encouragement. The warning is, if you don't know him, you need to know him and wash your robes clean. Wash your clothes clean. Repent, 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 repent for judgment is coming. The other part is if you do know, if you are the, the second group, you know, in, in my dream that did know and were prepared and we're still on this obstacle, keep fighting the good fight of faith, keep persevering, keep enduring and, and giving God all the praise and, and stay the path. You guys speak truth, speak truth in love and tell people about Jesus. Share the good news of Jesus. He is the great I am. He is the rock that is higher than I. He is the alpha and the omega. He is everything. He is the lover. 
He is to be the lover of our souls. He's to be number one. You know, Matthew 6, 33 says to seek you first the kingdom of God and everything else will be added unto you. Seek first the kingdom of God and be ready because Jehovah Rapha, our healer, Jehovah Jireh, our provider is coming. Have a wonderful and blessed day.